Hey guys, this is Minnie back with another Cup of Love, Cup of Wisdom. Let's get in here and do an energy check and see what's going on. Remember, this can be past, present, or future energy. Remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the signs and rules as needed. Keep in mind, this is a collective read, not a personal read. If you would like a personal read, the details are in the, the description box for the channel, okay? And you can email me, acecup0 at yahoo.com. I went ahead and pulled a few words to get the overall energy of what's going on. We have my gain is, begin with, you can't. Go the in a sense you gain strength so it looks like you're gaining a new beginning you're working on um, getting a new beginning here and someone's like oh hell no you can't um, and you could be sensing this so you could be sensing someone trying to stop you from having a new beginning but you're going to get it because of your strength so there's definitely a new beginning coming, but you could sense some sort of resistance or someone trying to block this new beginning, but you're still going to get it because of whatever strength you have. This is like that Ten of Wands energy. Um, someone trying to heavily burden another person, possibly cause them problems so that they can't have a new beginning. It's like somebody doesn't really want another person to have a new beginning, but it's going to happen anyway because someone has the power and authority to have this new beginning. Let's get in here and see what's going on. What's the good word? You know what? I'm going to start with these. Let's see what comes out. What is the message? What do we need to know? Who's playing in our energy? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so don't put all your eggs in one basket in the reverse. And being near you makes me feel less stupid in the reverse. Ooh. So somebody may have, um, you know, been putting their eggs all in one basket, like dependent on something happening or not happening. And someone could feel like they're more intelligent than another person. It's like, oh, someone doesn't see what I'm doing. Someone's not going to see what's coming. Many slid out here. So there could be multiple people involved in something or multiple people supporting you. So you may have support. Or it could be many people that are going to not be happy about this new beginning. Um, hmm. With all your eggs in one basket, somebody was like waiting for you to run out the clock and possibly like exhaust all your options. Somebody may have expected you to run or run towards them and put your eggs all in one basket. So someone may have underestimated, once again, your strength, your courage, your perseverance. Someone may have expected you to run away from your problems or run towards them to help you with your problems but you could be doing something on your own independently you may have many options that's what the many could be it doesn't have to necessarily represent people it could be just you having many options available to you let's see what comes out of here You can't handle the truth. So the truth about a situation may be hard for someone to handle <clears throat> because you have options and someone may not have wanted you to have options. You had me at hello. Oh, there may be a truth um, regarding somebody feeling emotional about you having options, possibly about you entering into a relationship or into a partnership. You either die a hero or live long enough to become a villain. And that came out sideways. So someone could be involved in this that you may have looked up to or admired or vice versa. You know, flip the roles. Someone may have been seen as admirable at one time, like heroic or in the upright. But something ha may have changed or something has changed or it, it's going to change. Why so serious in the reverse? So somebody didn't think that something was serious or there wasn't. Um, a serious matter to be dealt with, but it's more serious than somebody thinks. There's a serious situation brewing here. I haven't checked these cards in a while. Let's check here.
Uh, okay. So there could be some sort of communication back our girls over there. So someone may have reinforcements coming in to help them do something. Someone was not held in high honor here. Uh, they're fighting harder than ever before. Are you buying more war bonds than ever before? So <clears throat> we have someone here who's fighting. There could be some sort of communication. Someone could want to help you fight or be helping you overcome some sort of obstacles, figure out a problem. You may be receiving unexpected help. You could be in the nurse nurse care or health care field, the cadet nurse, the girl with a future here. So you have a bright future coming ahead. You could be working in your life's calling. You could be doing something meaningful. Battle stations keep them fighting. But somebody who was not held in high honor wanted to keep you fighting. It's like they wanted to stop you or stall you from having this new beginning that you're headed into. And there could be you could be receiving them, or you, whoever this is, um, could be receiving some sort of communication that's going to help you along. It could also be that someone maybe you thought was helping you may actually be an enemy, like a hidden enemy. It happens, unfortunately. Someone you thought may have been trying to help you out was actually working against you. Let's see what this is about. I mean, it happens. You can't have the light without the dark, right? So there's a feminine energy here. Something has been exposed about a feminine energy, an empress energy in the reverse. So there could have been something significant, a disguise or, um, you know, someone who portrayed themselves to be as someone who was held in high honor. They could be someone that someone looked up to or admired at one time, but, you know, their mask could have fallen off, their disguise could have fallen off. They were exposed. Something was exposed. There's a situation regarding a house and somebody thinking, someone's thinking about a housing situation, a home. Could be a married couple, could be a couple who's watching, thinking. There's definitely someone here who's contemplating. They're trying to figure something out. Possibly how to get you closer to them. Or how they can get closer to you. Someone was left out in the cold here. So somebody got left out in the wilderness. And this brought a tower moment. <clears throat> that was upside down. So someone being left out in the cold caused a tower moment. Somebody was hiding their true intentions, their true personality. Events are out of everyone's control. Somebody who appeared to be innocent or somebody was innocent. So there was someone innocent who could have suffered from this tower moment. Ooh. Yikes. Um, there could be something devilish going on. Um... Someone could be being sneaky or underhanded to keep someone trapped. Someone could be using their sexuality, um, you know, with the whore energy. Somebody could be using their sexuality to trap someone or try to trap someone up in their sexuality. Um, or this could have been someone that you thought was helping you, but they're trying to trap you up, like, um, like entice you, like seduce you in some sort of way. Somebody was being watched here. I really don't like that kind of energy. <clears throat> so somebody could have been trying to set you up like for a trap as in um, <clears throat> it's like uh, it's like they tried to tempt you with a low hanging fruit. Like if you were in a committed situation, you could be single too. Maybe they were in a committed situation. It's like somebody wanted you to look like a villain instead of someone who was upright. Someone was not telling the truth. Someone who was watching you, they were not telling the truth. But they expected you to speak the truth. So they they could have been trying to get some sort of information using their sexuality. So someone was doing some underhanded tactics by trying to manipulate someone using sexuality. Um, you know, like... I get like a prostitution kind of energy. Like someone may not be necessarily trying to set you up. Somebody could be coming in that you trusted to get... <clears throat> All right, we're just going to be blunt here. We're adults here. 
Okay, so someone may want to be in an intimate relationship with you. You're trying to have this new start, this new beginning. But someone may want to treat you and trigger warning for anyone who's been in sex trafficking. I apologize. Um, but someone may be coming towards you. Um, and this is not going to be an equal give and take situation. This is somebody who expects like a pay for play kind of services. Like, okay, you give me what you want. I'll give you something, a little something, something like <clears throat> we'll make this work. We'll figure this out. But it's a trap. Okay. This is like a... It's like someone's trying to, I don't know if this is like uh, law enforcement, police. Um, I don't know if someone's just being undercover or just trying to catch you slipping. Like maybe there's a custody battle or something like that. Like maybe an ex, someone could have put their friend up to doing something. It's like someone's trying to trap you up or like possibly even catfish you. Okay. But it's kind of like they're <clears throat> advertising something, but it's not like they want a serious commitment from you. Like, <clears throat> They're attracted to you, like you had me at hello, um, and you can't handle the truth. So at first you may have suspected someone of like being into you or interested in you, but the the reality of the situation is is it's kind of like somebody ultimately wanting something from you without the commitment is is honestly what it is. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. Someone something, yeah. Uh, when you catch a reflection in the store window and reveal it, realize that being born was a huge mistake. So someone could be realizing or they are going to realize that what they did was a huge mistake when your only friend is busy. So someone may all of a sudden become busy. Like someone may have been sent towards you to do this to set you up. Like this literally could have been a setup to try to trap you, catch you up in something. Someone may be backing out of this. Like all of a sudden someone may be canceling the plans, you know. When you thought someone was chill, but then you see them put ketchup on their pasta. So you thought you were cool with someone. You were friendly, you know, had similar ideas, maybe exchanging ideas. But somebody was just doing this to watch you, <clears throat> catch you, trap you up. Um, I'm not, they, they want to have sex with you. Like, they definitely have some, like, interest in you. But... Um, it's like they're playing both sides. It's like they're playing, I don't want to say devil's advocate, but it's like, um, double agent kind of energy. It's like they have their own motivations as well. When your butthole's super itchy and you fart hard enough to scratch it. Someone has an itch that they want to scratch. Okay. So someone could have been put up to something like to come towards you, to catch you, to proposition you, but secretly they they really want this to happen okay this is where it's getting fucked up okay because they have an itch that they want scratched and possibly they've been fantasizing or they've always wondered what it would be like to encounter this um to experience you when all your classmates are eating lunchables but your mom packed you organic cottage cheese and baby carrots so um someone could have um Oh, God. Okay. So someone's mom could be significant. You could be a mom. You could be like organic, um, you know, more into like health stuff or you may be health conscious. Um, you may be really close to nature. So somebody tried to connect with you using similar ideals. Someone is trying to connect to you, um, you know, with similar interest with when your only friend is busy. So you may be a mom. You may be a mother figure. And so someone may be acting like they're trying to help you out in a situation, but they really have an itch they want to scratch. It's like the, you don't shop the pootie from a single mother kind of energy, but sh someone definitely wants to shoplift the pootie, but with like no strings attached. And they might have a side deal going on where they're doing something underhanded behind the scenes. I just got to say it. When you come to terms with the fact that you'll never be able to dunk a basketball. So someone may have thought that they would never have the opportunity to have this happen. But here's the thing. You may be calling someone's bluff. Okay. <laughs> You're going to call someone's bluff. It's like, okay, you want to do this? Let's do this. Like, okay. <clears throat> So you may, you know, if you're tapped in, you may be feeling that something's not right energetically. Like you may feel like a sexual attraction. You may be even attracted to this person, but you're going to call this person's bluff. All right. So this person may have thought that they never had a shot with you and you're going to be like, all right, motherfucker, let's find out what you got going on. And someone's going to be panicking when they realize you're calling their bluff and they have to, you know, it's like, 
do I do this? Do I not do this? Like someone, someone's like looking like a deer in headlights. I'm not going to lie. When you finish a math problem and everyone's arguing whether the answer is 66, 67, but you got negative four. So something's not adding up. Okay. So you may be communicating with this person. Things are going great. You're, you may even just be friends with this person. Um, and it may have started out as what you thought was platonic, but someone was like sending messages like, you know, where you've read between the lines with something. Someone's trying to get you like someone's trying to set you up to get you to trip them up, like make it look like maybe you're trying to seduce them or something. But actually, they're the ones with the itch that they want to scratch. When you hear a recording of your own voice, something is not adding up. Someone is trying to record you or get some sort of documentation on you to catch you slipping. But in reality, you already caught on to something here because the math isn't mathing. You know what I'm saying? And so someone could be afraid of being recorded or being caught. Um, it's like they're worried about how they look to other people while trying, this is, I, God, oh my, okay, I, I can't, this is, oh, this is another one of those doozies, okay, so while someone may have been sent to, to, um, you know, gain information, it's like, they fooled around and fell in love, or they fooled around, they fucked around and found out, okay, the F-A-F-O, they're gonna fuck around and find out, because you're gonna call their bluff, it's like, okay, you're dropping all these hints, you know, you have all these sexual innuendos going on, um, I'm getting all this um, sexual energy from you, and it seems like you want to be more than just friends, but, you know, they could be, like, in a commitment, they could be, you know, whatever the situation, like, this wasn't supposed to happen kind of thing, but they've always wanted to, so you're seriously gonna be like, all right, motherfucker, let's go, and so you either are or you aren't, but um, if you do, you're going to find out real quick. I, I'm going to highly suggest you do call their bluff. Call them out. Um, you know, if if they want it that bad, if if they think that you're so easy, um, call them out. You know, arrange a time, a date, and a place to meet up and see what fucking happens. See if they show up. I feel like this person's going to back out. There's a possibility that this person's going to back out because you're going to call their bluff. So, do it. I mean, I'm just saying, you know. If you're a free agent, if you don't have any commitments, if you don't have anything to lose, if this person has something to lose and you don't, fuck around and find out. You know what? I'm not, You do what you want. I'm just saying you're going to have to call this person's bluff. If you want to get to the truth, if you want to know, if you want the facts, if you want to find out if you're being played for a fool, fuck around and find out. I'm not saying you have to sleep with them, but, you know, they've been itching too, so it's not like, you know, You'll find out. You'll find out. <clears throat> There's always ways to find out. There's a death. There's something that's over. Someone worried about their finances. So the death of somebody possibly worrying about their finances is over. You're manifesting. You're not worried about shit. Someone's manifesting some sort of communication. This could be someone manifesting communication from you. I'm telling you, someone's trying to record you or they're afraid of being recorded. Um, it's like it's an itch they've been wanting to scratch, but they could have initially come towards you with different intentions. It could have been strictly platonic, but I feel like someone was not being honest, like somebody was being watched, okay? So somebody was not being truthful. They had been being watched. So this person was watching you and trying to figure out how to approach you to itch that scratch without a commitment kind of deal, or someone was sent to you to itch this scratch but like they've already had this itch itching, but they weren't supposed to, it's like they weren't supposed to actually want to, you know what I'm saying? It's like, this was someone who wasn't actually supposed to want to itch that scratch. This is somebody that another person may have thought that they could trust to send towards you and not fuck around and find out. But this person wants to fuck around and find out. So call them out on it. Do it. I'm just saying, call them out. There's an addiction or obsession with this union. Okay. Um, They've been thinking about you for a while. They've been obsessing over this. They've been thinking about how to do something to you every which possible way. Call them out on it. Do it. Someone is wanting some sort of communication, some sort of concrete communication. And this is a karmic situation. So 
I mean, this is meant to teach a lesson. Whether it's to you or this other person, you know, we all have lessons to learn. But, you know, even if you are in the upright, sometimes you are someone's karma. So, so someone is spying, watching Seven of Swords here. Someone's being sneaky, stealthy regarding some heavy burdens that you're carrying. This can be someone who's being sneaky and stealthy about trying to help you carry those burdens. They want to be helpful. They could be using the guise of, hey, I just want to be your buddy. I just want to help you out. But they expect a little something, something in return. You know what I'm saying? But they're not supposed to actually be wanting a little something, something. You know what I'm saying? There's something that could be considered, you know, taboo about this. Um, forbidden. I'm getting like forbidden fruit kind of energy. So, you know, there's a secret. Something is going to be brought to light. Hermit. Something is going to be exposed. Fuck around. Find out. Expose it. I'm not saying you have to tell the whole world, but expose it to yourself. Make, you know, call their bluff. Even if it's just you wanting to know the truth, call their bluff because you're working your ass off, okay? And something is not going to work out in someone's favor here. There's a death to someone worried about finances and something's not going to go in someone's favor if they're trying to be shady, okay? So there's not a positive outcome for here, you know, for someone who's being shady as fuck. Someone's trying to keep a secret, okay? The moon in reverse. So there's not a positive outcome regarding some sort of secret partnership. So someone could be trying to hook up with someone secretly. Um, it's like, okay, well, we're going to keep this on the down low. We're going to, like, not tell anyone. We're going to, um, you know, every, like, this is, the problem is, is someone wants to keep something a secret but they could also be concerned about their family stability and not screwing that up so whatever secret this is um it could cause a disruption within a secure family that could send everything into a shit storm so it's like they have this itch they want to scratch but they could be concerned about <clears throat> the blowback or the fallout they could they're concerned about this tower moment that could come and cause and break up their family. So, I'm just saying, if you want to get to the bottom of shit, there's not a positive outcome if someone's trying to cause you some heartbreak or do some bullshit, okay? If they're going to, like, fuck around, um, play games with you, string you along, um, you know, breadcrumb you or something, you know, you're going to be at a crossroads. You're going to have a decision to make. There's going to be a point that comes where, you know nut up or shut up kind of energy you know what i'm saying there's a decision regarding an empress here and there's going to be an emotional situation because someone is fighting a lot of conflict and it could be this empress this empress could be doing a lot of shit on their own self-sufficient independent single but you know maybe you need help from time to time maybe you need something done around the house whatever i don't know you're doing a lot of shit and there was a financial imbalance you know Maybe you suffered a heartbreaking situation, a traumatic event, you know, and you decided to stay single and someone's like, okay, I've had this itch to scratch for a while. Now's my opportunity. If I'm going to, you know, shoot my shot, now's my chance kind of energy. So someone may be coming to shoot their shot, but they want to keep it hush hush. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to cut this short. All right. You know what? We're going to jump to the message cards here because I'm going to have to get going here. So someone went broke and maybe they needed money. Maybe they needed help. Um, you know, earlier, a minute ago, it came out that somebody was worried about their finances. So somebody could have been worried about the finances. Someone wants to be secret lovers here. Okay. I, I'm telling you, someone wants to scratch that itch. And it's, it's bordering on obsession and addiction. It's like... The more they try to fight it, the more they want it. 
there's something significant about your sibling or brother or sister. Um, so somebody could have been a classmate of your brother or sister. Someone could know your brother or sister. Um, there could be some sort of financial imbalance due to someone getting ripped off by a sibling, something like that, um, because they wanted you to give up on your dreams. Don't give up on your dreams. Big package, WAP energy in the reverse. So someone who may be like, you know, um, that you would view as a sibling, your brother, sister, something like that. Um, they may not be happy about this situation, okay? It could have even been like a sibling or someone that you view as like a brother or sister or somebody like family that maybe does not have this big package energy. Um, they may be broke. Um, I don't know. But someone's lusting after you. This could be your like family member's friend, okay? So this could be like your brother or sister's friend, something like that. Um, you know... But someone's definitely lusting after you and someone's definitely looking for a booty call without the commitment. You know what I'm saying? But they have this itch. They want to scratch. They want to fuck around and find out. Now, whether you go all the way or not, you know, that's whatever. That's your business. But somebody wants um, a non-committed, like, hookup situation. So someone was confused. Someone tried to cause confusion. Maybe they tried to say that you didn't have that Watt Big Package energy because maybe they knew that their buddy wanted to come hook up with you, you know. And um, so they were like, no, that bitch is dry as the Sahara Desert or, you know, that dude has ED. You don't want to mess around with them. They can't get it up, that kind of thing. I never cheated on you in the reverse. That's, uh... Someone's being controlled by spirits, and someone will tell you some important information. So someone's gonna break down. They can't control this lustful spirit. They're gonna, they're gonna try. Like it's, they're gonna try to scratch that itch. Something was a matter of days. Similar religious beliefs. So this could be once again someone who portrays themselves to have similar background or similar interests like you. Um, they could be involved with someone, and this could be in a third-party situation where someone wants to keep things secret and hush-hush because they don't want whoever they're really involved with to find out. They may not want your family members to find out. Um, they want to keep something really quiet, but they're very frisky. Very, very frisky. Like, they're probably doing them stuff to themselves and thinking about you looking at your pictures if they have access to your pictures social media Hi. january could be significant thursday in january could be significant life's a bitch in the reverse equal give and take so there was not an equal give and take with something this is a situation of the blind leading the blind um, holding your tongue and then ace in the hole in the reverse. So someone thought maybe they had some sort of leverage over another person and they could get someone to keep their mouth shut. So this is like the blind leading the blind. So someone may think that you have something to lose and that maybe you'll keep this on the down low too or hush hush. Someone could be looking for some sort of leverage against another person. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. March could be significant. Someone's birthday could be in March. Something significant could be happening in March. Someone wants to jump into something with both feet here. Someone wants to dive into it, that's for sure. Um, but someone's greedy. And some somebody could also be as dull as dishwater. So someone may be jumping into something out of greed and lust. And they're not thinking something through, possibly about the repercussions of what they're doing. Like I said, they think if it's just kept a secret and no one knows that it'll all be good. Um, but you know what happens with secrets, with the hermit that came out sideways, now near future energy, something could become becoming exposed. So something's not going to stay a secret for long. Leo could be significant. Cancer could be significant. A Saturday. Someone's a fair weather friend. So, Yeah. Someone may be just being someone's friend so that they can get close to them. Like I said, someone could be pretending to be someone's friend just so they can hop up in there and see because they have this itch they need to scratch. Go with the flow, weather the storm. So you're going to move on to calmer waters. You're going to weather this storm.
Someone does not want to team up with you. Someone's not a team player. They just want what they want. August could be significant. Libra could be significant here. Something being balanced out. Something is being balanced out possibly with someone, um, you know, you loved and lost. Someone's going to lose their temper because they're going to lose someone possibly that they loved uh, because they're easily tempted, fell for the low-hanging fruit. <clears throat> someone fell off the wagon. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. So the longer you're away from someone, it's like the more they've lusted after you and wanted you. Um, someone's not breathing a sigh of relief. They're not going to be able to move forward. You're, you know, like a natural born leader, like king or queen of wands energy. Someone's going to be sad. Someone's going to be sad. You could be sad. They could be sad. I don't know. Someone's going to be sad. Ah, green-eyed monster. Someone who's envious is going to be sad. So someone who is jealous um, of someone who is in this leadership position is going to be really upset, unhappy. There was a tower moment, so... I don't know, someone's going to fuck around and find out, but when they fuck around and find out, they may trip, fall, and land on your whatever, and then fall in love on top of it, and end up in a world of shit that, you know, they're going to have to try to get out of, because someone's as ugly as sin here. Taurus could be significant, Taurus could be playing the field. Taurus again in September. Scorpio could be significant. Something was not written in stone. Someone was a thief. They were trying to take something, you know, like I said, shoplift the pooty. Um, you know, something didn't work out. Silver lining, something, something didn't work out the way they thought it was going to. Okay. All right, let's close this out. All right, person, place, or thing. The letter A could be significant. R. U. It almost looks like it could be an H. S. U again. B. RSV and upper respiratory infection could be significant. O. L. Another L. I'll do one more. And I. Someone's name could be Ollie Oliver. So I have A-R-U-U-S-V-O-L-L-I. I hope this helps. Have a good day.